everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another how to build a video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys a very simple, undetectable base. Now, thanks to the aquatic update that has recently come out for the Bedrock edition of Minecraft, they brought back a feature that I had a video on back in the day before boats were uh, updated, where the physics of the boats were changed. But now that the physics of the water was actually changed, it kind of brought that back in a weird sense. It's not the same, but it well, it basically is the same, just you have to do it a little bit different. Because now that uh, the aquatic update has come out, with the uh, soul sand, when you put it inside water, you can now go up water super fast inside a soul sand. So as you can see, woo, right up the waterfall I go. So it pretty much brought back that physics of where you could put a boat kind of on the side of a wall. And as long as there's water on the other side of it, the boat will go right up the water. Now that's how this whole entire undetectable base works so i'm going to quickly go ahead and just switch it to survival actually so you can see that you don't get hurt by doing this as well so my undetectable base is right over here in the corner of this wall so if, oh i just took some damage so if i place a boat right here on this block and then i get inside of it and then i go right on to the corner of this wall right here i should go right up the water now like i said i had a video of this in the past but it just used the old boat but once they added those oars to it changed the physics of the boat so, so it no longer worked however thanks to the water physics being changed it now works again so now all we have to do is look right at the corner of this wall right here if i don't keep turning around on my boat <laughs> just hold down lt right here and i should be able to go through the wall by right there, there we go <laughs> so i have a minecart on the other side which lets me phase into the wall into my secret base now you're probably wondering well what about the boat outside that's hopping up and down right here well you can just flip up this lever right here it'll open up the wall come right here and go ahead and just break your boat and re-pick it up so once you got your boat you come back inside your base click this lever and then it's hidden once again and then i just have the you know the little essentials in here i got my enchantment table some furnaces some crafting benches just a nice little secret base you would probably have inside your world you can make whatever you want out of this you don't even have to make it a secret base you can use this as just a hidden elevator so you don't have to see the water or anything like that that's the cool thing about this and then when i want to get back down all i have to do is come right here look down this hole throw my boat right down into this hole like that click this button walk on out it'll pop me out and then i'll fall into a nice little water source so i take no damage Go inside my hopper right here, take the boat out, and then it'll close up like nothing is there. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and just show you it one more time. I'm kind of happy that they brought this back, but I guess they really didn't bring it back. <laughs> they just changed the uh, the water, the way the water works, so you can do it once again. But I see, boop, right into my secret base. And then, you know, just click the lever up right here, break the boat so no one can see it, come back in, flip up the lever. And then, you know, once again, when you want to leave, you just throw your item down here into this little hole. Then we just got to click this button, walk on out. We'll pop us out and boop right into the water source and take our boat out and go on our way all right guys so to get started off on this build we're going to need a nice corner of a cliffside now like i said you don't even have to make this a secret you can make this into an elevator inside your house maybe you don't want to see the water and then you could just use the boat to go up your elevator however we're going to keep this thing all secret and nice so we're going to find a nice corner side of a cliff or maybe you have a ravine that you want to put it into. Just anything that pretty much makes it have to go up to get to it. So we're going to go right here over here into this corner. You might have to dig out a little bit too. It depends on uh, what cliff you're going to be using. And we're going to go right over here into this corner. This is where I'm going to be putting my boat to go up my little water source block. And we're going to dig right into this corner right here. And I'm going to have my soul sand block right in that corner. Now this depends on how high you want to go. This could be, really, you can go really high with this thing. Or you can go just a few blocks up. It's completely up to you. I'm going to go, let's say right about here here this seems like a pretty good spot right here so all i have to do is just dig into that corner once again so as you can see my soul sand blocks right down here and you know let's go ahead and put a few blocks here so the water doesn't go everywhere and then we're going to place our water source right here and it's going to go right down that hole into our soul sand block so i'm going to go ahead and just dig out these blocks right here uh if you're doing this on survival obviously don't put your water source down just yet because digging through water is kind of annoying unless you have uh, good stuff to be digging through water with and let's go ahead and just place our water source down here and it should go all the way down into that soul sand block so now we can go ahead and hide this up right here and right here now let's go ahead and just quickly try it so boop and up we go all the way to the top now before we move on now i don't know if this is a bug or something like that i'm pretty sure you need full water source blocks for this entire thing to work but usually the water is supposed to fill up everything now just in case it doesn't fill up everything and you're getting stuck about halfway just go through every single block clicking down your water source to make sure that everything is a water source now you need every block to be a water source or else the bubbles won't go through it and you'll get stuck about halfway so now that we know the top of our water we can go ahead and cap it off with some blocks and then right above where the water is we're going to place a rail with a minecart so a rail with a minecart and then next up just place a block 
right here next to the minecart and we're going to dig in this way because this is where our redstone door is going to be going so let's go ahead and dig in three blocks one two and three then on the third block we're going to place in two sticky pistons facing outwards with two blocks in front of it and then we can go ahead and dig in this way from where our minecart is let's, we, got, we just got to dig in a few blocks uh you can do whatever you want with your secret base you don't have to make it look exactly like mine but we're going to go ahead and just dig out a few blocks make sure you can leave these two blocks right here we don't want our minecart moving out from this position and then we're going to come right in here and dig out around these pistons because we want to make sure everything is working good then right off of the side well the back side of where the sticky pistons are let me go ahead and just dig out another little row of blocks so right here off the back side of our sticky pistons we're going to place a block place in a redstone torch off the back and then place a block right above the redstone torch and that will push the door closed next up if we place a button right here off the side boom it will open up the door and close the door make sure you are using a wooden button and not a stone button you can use a stone button if you're fast enough but the wooden button stays pushed in longer so that'll give you way more than enough time to get outside the door before it closes and the next up we're going to do is place a lever right off the top of the block so then we can open and close the door so if you want to leave the door open at all times you just click this open and it'll stay open at all times and then click the lever this way and it'll close the door so now your button should work so that pretty much is all the redstone for the top area it's very very easy guys now we're going to do is a little bit of redstone for the bottom area so let's go ahead and open this up because we want to make it so we can open up a water source down here so when we want to leave our base we can just fall into a nice little water source block and not take any damage if you do this right off the side of the water too that will actually work pretty good as well however just giving you a heads up you can't have this right off the side of water because basically how this works is the boat is stuck in the top block if it's in water it will be in that water source block from the bottom so it shouldn't work i don't think it would work uh i'm pretty sure it doesn't work so you, i mean you could try it if you want to but i don't think it's going to work then right over here we're going to go ahead and dig out of this block and then a block in and a block in and you should be able to see your nice soul sand block right there and now we're going to take out some hoppers so let's go quickly take out a hopper there we go and we're going to place our hop we can get rid of our button now we don't need that and we're going to be placing a hopper right here off of this block and then we're going to dig into as you can see our water is going to get in the way uh so you know what let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and dig into next to it so right there's our hopper so we're going to dig in two right here there we go and then right off of this block we're going to break it and going into this hopper we're going to place one more hopper so when we throw our item down it will funnel into this hopper right here now what we have to do is just basically go right here and then break straight up or straight down if you want to and this will make the hole right at the top where our minecart is see it should land perfectly right next to where your minecart is so now when we go ahead and throw one of our items down here like that it should go all the way down go into our hopper and then funnel into this hopper right here very very easy Next up on this side is where we're going to be placing our sticky piston. So we're going to have to dig in one more block. So we can see our soul sand block right there. Just break one more block. Place another sticky piston. And then place whatever block you're going to be using for your flooring. I'm going to be using stone. So I'm going to place a stone block right there. Now on the opposite hand of that soul sand block, we're going to need a redstone comparator. And we have a redstone torch. And we might need redstone. I'm not 100% sure if I need redstone for this part. But I'm going to take it out anyway. So we have to go to the opposite hand side of where that soul sand block is. So let's go ahead and break around to where we can see our sticky piston break this way and break to where we can see the soul sand block so we don't want our water running everywhere that's why i went this way and then out of the soul sand block we're going to place a red stone comparator coming out of it so as you can see it's coming out of it and then it's going towards our sticky piston place a block up in front of it with a redstone torch and that should leave it on and off is there an item inside here did i throw in? oh yeah the hopper so when i take the hopper out boop closes and then when i throw an item inside of the hopper like this it will open it up because now it has an item inside that hopper and that's the whole bottom area guys so now what we do is just fill this in fill this in fill this side in as well and then we're going to take out our water bucket and place our water bucket right off the block that has our hopper go into crouch mode place some water as you can see it's inside that hopper now so we can go inside our hopper take the item out and now it should close it up perfect so let's go ahead and test it out to make sure everything's working so we're going to place our boat right off the block to the side of our corner so place it like right here because if we place it too close then we'll go right up the water source and we're going to lose our boat so we don't, we don't want to do that so we're going to place our block one block away from it get inside our boat go right into the corner go all the way up and then when we can see our minecart right here we're going to go inside of this minecart get out of our boat and as you see everything is working perfectly so then when we want to get rid of our boat just click open this lever come out over here break the boat make sure you pick it up as well so you don't lose the boat click this and it'll close up everything so let's go ahead and place a block right here so we no longer can see inside of this area and i also like to place in a fence post just so i don't fall down the hole that has a hopper because that would think well if you do die by falling down a hole at least a hopper will collect all your items so let's go ahead and take out a fence post real fast so any fence post will do place it right here like that so now when i'm ready to leave all i have to do is just throw one item down here into my hole click this button walk on out and the water source is open now jump on out 
and then take the item out and boom it's closed up like nothing is there so as you see everything is completely hidden and then when we're ready to do it again just come over here place our boating go off to that corner once again go all the way up to the top and then get inside of our minecart right here inside of this corner there we go oops i placed too many boats in there <laughs> jump out of the minecart and bam we are inside of our secret layer so let's go ahead and break this and then like i said this is completely up to you you can do whatever you want inside of here uh i do like to hide up the redstone at least so i can't see any of this so i like to just you know place blocks around all of my pistons and redstone back here like this there we go and now the rest is completely up to you you can do whatever you like but once we are ready to leave you know just throw one item down here into the hole let's make sure our lever is closed click this button it opens up our door walk on out pops us into our water source and bam there you guys have it an undetectable secret base so there you guys have it that's a simple undetectable secret base so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys Boop. and i did not throw my item down there good thing i wasn't on survival or i would have died <laughs> peace